Horses are on the track for race 10 at the Illinois State Fair. The State Fair Colts takes Concy for two-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings. No changes. Here are the starters. Number one, Never Pass, owned by Elizabeth and Catherine Rutherford of Paw Paw, Michigan, and LaGrange Park, Illinois. Kathy Rutherford trains. Laverne Hostetler drives. Couple in the wagering, 1A, Saffron Job. Races for the same ownership, trained and driven by Kathy Rutherford. Number two, April 7th, is owned by Rick Barbary and Don Bryant of Carmi, trained by Don Bryant. Eric Ledford is in the bike. Number three, Pining for a Try, owned by Flocko Family Farms, Limited Liability Corporation of Alexis, trained by Joel Miller. Ross Leonard is up. Party House, number four, owned by Cheryl Clough of Carrollton and Benita Simmons of Springfield, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Number five is Real Classy, owned by Dirk Simpson of Sherman, Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, trained by Dirk Simpson, his son Brandon is the driver. Here's number six, Source of Muscles, owned by Randy Joe Finn, William Humphrey and Sharon Pettit of Newton and Flora, trained by Randy Joe Finn with Fred Finn Jr. driving. Number seven, Wishes and Dreams, owned by Lynn Wilfong of Kentland, Indiana, trained and driven by Brett Wilfong of Donovan, Illinois. Number eight is TK Small Source, owned by Jerry Mims of Bartum in Mississippi, trained and driven by Dane May of Newton. And number nine, Jute, owned, trained, and driven by Tom Graham, Jr. He is based in Salem, Illinois. Five minutes remaining until post. Here they come. Source of Muscles made a break. So did Wishes and Dreams. Real Classy is off stride. The rest are off and trotting. There goes Jute for the early lead. Problems for TK Small Source, who made a break at the start. And now Real Classy off stride, heading toward the first turn. Up front, Jute goes to the front of the field. April 7th has just made a break. So several trotters have broken stride behind Jute, who left from the far outside and now has a seven-length lead going to the quarter-mile mark. Pining for a try, moves up through a crowd of horses into second. Never pass, minds his manners, and as a result, he's third. Party House is fourth, off the quarter mile mark in 30 seconds flat. April 7th is back trotting and wide off the first turn in fifth. Racing, however, better than a dozen lengths off the lead. Real classy to his inside, followed by Source of Muscles as they make the move toward the half. Gap of three more to Wishes and Dreams, and TK Small Source trails after a break. Jute is on the lead by three lengths. Never pass, trying to move up into third, trying to collar, pining for a try to challenge for second. But he's still got ground to make up. The half in 101 and two. Then beyond the top three, you've got Party House in fourth. A gap of three more to Source of Muscles on the outside of Real Classy. And then Saffron Job is next on the outside of Wishes and Dreams. TK Small Source in March, or rather April 7th, as they approach the three quarters. Again, the half in 101 and two, and pining for a try, moves up on the outside to challenge Jute. Only a half length between them, pining for a try, gently moving forward outside of Jute, who has to lead by a neck. Gap of seven more to Party House, third on the outside of Never Pass, and then Real Classy and Source of Muscles, off three quarters, 132 and two, pining for a try. Again, moves up alongside of Jute, who cuts the corner and still has to lead by a half length. Pining for a try, needs to find something more. He needs it quick. Jute is a stubborn foe today. Pining for a try, comes at him one more time. Jute a short lead. Pining for a try, is gonna get it. Pining for a try, gets up by a length on the line. Jute was second, Party House third, 2.01 and four, the time for the mile. Owned by Flocko Family Farms, Limited Liability Corporation of Alexis, Illinois. Dr. Richard Flocko, his son Rick, and family down in the winter circle right now. Trained by Joel Miller, driven by Ross Leonard. Here's number three, pining for a try. Driver Ross Leonard comes from a harness racing family. His father, Terry, a longtime Illinois horseman. His uncle, the late Gary Leonard was also a trainer driver in Illinois, and his late grandfather, Francis Bud Leonard, was a well-known and popular horseman from Harvard in the northern part of the state. Penny Yates making the trophy presentation, advocate for the Strategic Planning Council for Illinois Harness Racing. 
pennies in the winner's circle along with Dr. Richard Flanco. Doc, first of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You originally, if I remember correctly, are from the East Coast. I know at one time you were in the Philadelphia area as an MD. You came to Illinois. How and why? Uh, I came because the Air Force uh, got me here to Chanute Air Force Base back then, and I was in the Air Force for two years. So I got to like the Midwest, and I've always loved horses, and we just decided we'd start raising horses. You, you of course, stand the sire, Giant yeah, Triumph, yeah, yeah. and uh, he's really come on strong here, especially in the last few weeks. What kind of horse is Giant Triumph to be around? Oh, he's wonderful. He's uh, like a big pussy cat. He's very tender to handle, and he loves being petted. He loves bread, and he loves uh, carrots and apples. He's like me. He really loves to eat. And me, too, for that matter. And he's not a bad sire. Doc, congratulations on the win. Hope to see you back here in the winter circle again. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You, too. Dr. Richard Flacco of Flacco Family Farms in Alexis. More in a moment.